close your eyes and put aside all your thoughts of the day. Focus all your thoughts in the breath. Try to develop a quality that the Buddha calls intentness, where you're paying 100% attention to what you're doing. Monotasking. Trying to be with the breath. Adjust the breath so it feels good. And then try to maintain that good feeling as you breathe in, as you breathe out. And notice what kind of breathing maintains that feeling. Once it feels solid, then you can think of spreading it around. This is our basic technique for giving the mind a good place to stay, because the mind is going to be observing itself. And it's going to see a lot of things it doesn't like about itself. Ordinarily, the mind lies a lot to itself, and it can get away with its lies, because you're not paying too much attention. You've got other things you've got to do. It's like a little child coming in, seeing that the the parent is preoccupied and so asking all kinds of things, and the parent says, yes, 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 because the parent's not paying attention. But now the parent's going to turn full attention on the child and say, what are you saying? What do you want? And you can look not only at, at what the child is saying, but also look at the child's facial expressions, look at their body, body language, and you see a lot that you wouldn't see otherwise when you're engaged in too many other things. So if you really want to see the mind, give it one thing to do. And make sure that one thing puts it in a solid foundation, so that whatever else comes up, you're not blown away. You can see, yeah, so this is the way the mind lies to itself. The Buddha has a long list of the different defilements you can have, sixteen in all, and that's just the beginning. You want to be able to read the mind to see what, what kind of defilement is coming in and learn how to counteract it. Otherwise, when your attention gets diverted again and you've got other things you've got to do, then the defilements take over again, like the children who take over when their parents are preoccupied. So learn to give your full attention to the breath, your full attention to the mind right here, right now. And you begin to see a lot of things that are really worth seeing and knowing. And the mind, of course, is the one thing that's most worth knowing in the world. There's a lot of things we can learn about. This is the problem with the news. We learn about a lot of things over which we have no control. And some people just begin to accept the idea, well, they have no control over anything. But the mind is something you can learn how to control. So focus all your attention here, focus all your efforts here, and your efforts will be well repaid.